exclusive back with another video no i could put a little more energy here. exclusive back with another video so one thing i just want to say real real quick before i even start the video is that it's going to be really hard to transition like from the joking manner i had on my channel to like that serious shit about racism because now i feel like i'm like a little self-conscious about what i post and like what i say because a lot of parents seen my shit and i've been getting a lot of bitching and a lot of hate but you know what they can all suck my dick so let's dive into the video so motivation mondays the thing that you want to do the most that scares you the most could be the best decision you ever made in your life take it from me so last semester like i said i was in a lot of fuckery at uri i was in a bad spot football i was in a bad spot mental wise i was in a dark dark place and i tra entered the transfer portal not knowing where i was gonna go had a lot of offers pulled from schools they would hit me up they would want me there and then they would stop talking to me the day after they're like girls you give them some attention they give you a lot of attention then all of a sudden they pull back and you're stuck and be like what the fuck so anyway i started getting offers pulled after offers pulled after offers pulled pretty soon i only had two or three places left to go and then i figured you know what it's just meant to be that i went to corland because you know what i declined going there actually coming out of high school so i was like you know what they're showing me mad love and they're sticking me throughout this process so i went there so i moved from rhode island where i went to uri i was home I could get in any bullshit I wanted in the state because this is my state and I run this shit. And then I went up all the way to upstate New York, 15 minutes out from Syracuse, not knowing anyone other than the football coach. And I was seven hours away from home. So I had to go get it because at URI, I was coming home every single fucking night. Bang, bang, bang. If I wanted to get home, I could get home in 15, 20 minutes if I wanted to. I could go get in any bullshit. I could go up to the city and get in any type of trouble I wanted to. I could go hang out with anyone I wanted to. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just woke up. I got the little bad head on me. But I had, to, I had to go up to New York. I had to go get it. Me being upstate in New York alone, no family, seven hours away, just me and the football coach, me and the football team. I had to go get it. I had to go chase that bag. I could not afford to be lazy. And I could not afford to goof off and slack off like I was doing at home. So that situation where I literally threw myself to the wolves, threw myself in the fire, threw myself to the wolves, yes sir, forced me to go out and get it. Forced me to go out and chase that bag because you know what, if I fail, if I slack off, there is no going back. I wasted my time, I wasted my money, I wasted my family's time moving me in, and I wasted my family's money. I wasted all that time, me entering the transfer portal, me going through a bunch of bullshit just to move seven hours away and slack off. Come on now, in my head, that does not make sense. And in anyone's head, in a logical standpoint, that does not make sense. So you have to go get it. You need to put yourself in a situation where you, you are thrown to the fire and you have no other choice but to survive or to work. Right now, for me, it's do or die. Today, I don't feel like going to the fucking gym. I want to lay in bed all day, you know what I'm saying? Everything hurts, I'm sore. I've been shoulder pressing hundreds, back squatting 400, front squat, trying to front squat 315. Incline pressing 110s. You think my body's not hurting? My hip is literally broken. My back is literally broken. I feel my body deteriorating. But you know what? I have to get up and train like a savage because you know what? I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my money. I don't want to waste my family's time and I don't want to waste their money. I did not go through all that shit for nothing. You did not go through all that shit for nothing. You need to put yourself in a position where you have to go get it. If you want to go transfer schools and throw yourself to the fire in a new new place that might open doors for you, go do it. And you know what? When I was first scared about going to Cortland, excuse me, when I was first, first scared about going to Cortland, when I first got there, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to fly dolo. I'm just going to get in my bag. I'm not even going to go out. I'm just going to work, 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 work. I ended up meeting some of the best friends I have in my life. Like Brandon, bro. You are one of the best friends that I have right now. Much love to you, bro. I'm coming out in Long Island to visit y'all pretty soon going on vacation to LI, going to visit my boy. I knew how, I now have a best friend for life just because I made the decision that scared me the most to leave, to get up out of my comfort zone and to go transfer somewhere. And now I have, I'm in a position, a really good football position. I have a best friend that I'm probably going to have for life all because I decided to leave my comfort zone and to go transfer schools, to go do something that scared the fuck out of me. 
I'm now in the possess best position I've ever been in in my life. All because I decided to say fuck this. To push my comfort zone. And to go out and get that bag. Because when you're away from home, you have to go get it. When you break your comfort zone, and when you don't know anyone and don't know anything and don't know what to do up there, you have to go get it. All you have to do is work. So push your comfort zone. Push your limits. Do something you're scared to do. And you know what? Just might be the best damn thing you ever did. So that's all I got for y'all today on this Motivation Monday. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my ship. Peace out.